in this channel I mainly do beauty videos, sometimes fashion videos, um, but I actually want to start something new. I want to start a fitness series. So for the course of about a year or so, I want to document my progress in becoming a more healthier, fitter person. So every month I'm going to, every once a month or maybe a little bit more, I'm going to do a fitness video. So if you guys are interested, keep watching this video. Now I'm not going to take too long um, talking about like, you know, my weight in the past and, and stuff like that because I don't want to like bore you. I know you probably have like something to do. So I'm just going to like tell you really quickly of how my kind of like my weight struggle in, in high school, right? Um, so when I was growing up, I was definitely the thickest, chunkiest girl out of like my friends. There was no Kim Kardashian back in the day. Back in the day, being a size zero was in. Being like um, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, um, Kate Moss, like being a size like zero and, and skinny was in, which me physically I, I cannot be healthy and be a size zero that's just unrealistic and i know that now and i wish that somebody when i was growing up told me that right um so during high school i was i was athletic like i have like endurance and in stamina like I, I feel like i consider myself an athlete you know because i like competing i like being physical um but i was i was i was like chubby I was fat right I had definitely extra weight on me and I went through um yo-yo dieting so I did I remember doing slim fast um I remember um not eating a lot during the day and then going home and binge eating eating everything in the fridge which was definitely not healthy and I would say okay tomorrow I'm starting my diet tomorrow I'm starting my diet blah blah, blah. um and it, it definitely did not work and I also was an emotional eater so I would get pleasure out of eating like sweets and and just like not very healthy things right um and I also remember seeing a chart in my health class and I feel like I don't know how it is now, but I feel like schools could do a much better job at educating kids in regards to nutrition. Um, but back in the day, when, like back in the day, like it was 20 years ago, no, but I remember seeing a chart and according to my height, my body mass index, I was like considered obese. I'm 5'1", and my heaviest in high school was like 150, 155. And I have pictures here to show you. Um, so let me just show you that really quickly. So I'm gonna cover the picture of the person standing next to me because I don't want you guys to see the person. I don't. So I don't know if you could tell, but that was me, you guys. That's I was wearing like a size 12 or something. You could see my face is a lot like chunkier. Let me show you another picture here. This is a close up of me when I was like 16. Oh, look at that face. No, but you could see a little bit more roundness in my face and stuff. So I was definitely not happy and I remember, I'm going to tell you really quickly this embarrassing story. Um, so I remember one time I was wearing this belt and I like bent over and it freaking ripped. Like my belt just like poof, it just ripped. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this just happened right now. And I was like in an auditorium with other kids and I just took like my belt off kind of discreetly. And then this guy made a joke. He was like, what happened? Like, why you take your belt off? Did it break? Ha ha ha. And I was like laughing, but in reality it did break because I was like, you know, overweight and stuff. But anyway, so how I overcame that was I moved away and when I moved away, I had more time for myself. I moved to, to Georgia right out of high school. And I lost 20 pounds on my own just by eating healthy and exercising. And I didn't have like that stress. And then I hit a plateau. When I hit that plateau, I couldn't lose any more weight on my own. So I sought professional help and I got a personal trainer. And he really helped me push 
through that plateau. I think I my plateau my plateau was I think 130 or 120, um, and I pushed past that plateau and I got to 115. During this whole like weight fluctuation, people would tell me um, you're too fat, you're, you need to stop eating, um, blah blah blah. And then when I got to 115, um, people were like, oh, you're too skinny. Are you healthy? What's wrong with you? So what I'm trying to say is no matter where you are right now in your fitness journey people are always going to have opinions people are going to always going to tell you what to do what not to do but you honestly need to listen to yourself if you're happy and feel healthy the way you look you don't need to change for anyone unless you want to you know and i'm very passionate about this because I feel like there's so many young girls out there that feel like they have to conform to society's norm and what society says it's beautiful and it's like no all throughout history society has changed how a woman's body should be and i feel like no one should tell you how your body should be but you so just forget everybody's opinion and just focus on your own and that's it because there's nothing more beautiful than confidence happiness and self-awareness so I hope you are, wherever you are in your fitness journey, if you want to change, I hope this inspires you to change, become healthier and stronger. Like, I don't even want to be, now I'm going to talk about my, my future goal. I don't even want to be skinny. What I want to be is healthy and, and strong. I feel like having muscles is, is sexy now. Um, and I'm talking a lot with my hands, but I'm just like very like, you know, passionate about this. I'm my fittest and healthiest. Pushing 30, you guys, I'm, I know I'm like jumping around all of these like topics and stuff but that's how I get when I talk sometimes I'm like I look back at the videos and I'm like did I even make sense what I was talking about I like leave things out sometimes but that's just what I am um, fast forward to a couple of months from today I noticed that I started to gain weight I work in an office job so I sit eight hours a day and then my boss and my co-workers buy a lot of like um, donuts, carbs, like bagels and sweets and cakes and stuff like that. And I am like, I'm going to be a bride pretty soon. And Diego and I want to be obviously our fittest, happiest on our special day. And he actually suggested for me to start doing these fitness videos to document the process. So thanks babe for the idea. Um, he's been a great support in terms of um, helping me with my exercise, my posture, proper form and stuff. He's a personal trainer, so that's definitely a plus. Um, and yeah, I joined the gym about two months ago and I've been going consistently and I've noticed a change in my body and I'm like, you know what, I, I yeah, I'm gonna do that because I wanna show you guys the process. I don't wanna like get there on my wedding day and then talk about it. Um, how I did it and, and blah 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 because I feel like the process is, is very important like getting there is important reaching your goal is important but documenting the process is also it's gonna be fun so I hope you guys join me in this journey and I want it to be a kind of like a community a dialogue I want us to talk about anything fitness related and I hope you guys subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys. Mwah.